Welcome everyone to Numerical Gems in the Torah. The word for peace in Hebrew is Shalom. Shalom in Gematria equals 376. We know that the secret of Gematria is if another word or a phrase has the same numerical value, then we look for, for connections. In this case, we have a bit of a paradoxical uh, other word that has the same gematria, 376, and that is Esav. Esav, the twin brother of Yaakov, they were opposites. And throughout history, we have been struggling with this rivalry, these opposites of Yaakov and Esav. According to tradition, from Esav comes Rome. From Rome comes Christianity. And there has been a rivalry between Yaakov and Esav throughout history. They were in the womb together. They're twins. But here we see peace equals 376 and Esav equals 376. But our concept of Esav is the exact opposite of peace. And in fact, it says in the Talmud that this connection of Esav to peace is, is there because if there wasn't a parallel energy to balance out the energy of Esav, Esav could destroy the whole world. So here we see that in this gematria that the connection isn't between two like concepts or ideas, it's actually two opposites. And yet, we do have a tradition that in the future we will make peace with Esau. There will be peace everywhere between nations. We'll make peace with Yishmael. And the whole world will live in peace. Now there's another term that also has the same gematria of 376. And this is a, a, a term that is used very often, and it's in the prayers. Hashem Melech, Hashem Malach, Hashem Yimloch Leolam Va'ed. God is king. God was king. Hashem Yimloch Leolam Va'ed. God will rule forever and ever. This part of the phrase, Hashem Yimloch Leolam Va'ed, equals 376, equals peace. And what we can understand from this is the way that the world is, we don't have peace between nations. We don't have universal peace. And as individuals also, we are not living in Gan Eden. We live in a very challenging, material, physical world full of tests and challenges. But in the future, in the Messianic era, we do believe there will be peace between nations. There'll be peace between people, and there'll be inner peace. But that will only happen when Hashem Yimloch Leolam Ba'ed, only when the revelation of God's oneness, God's light, fills the world. Like the prophecy of Isaiah, that in the future Messianic era, the knowledge of God will cover the earth like the waters cover the sea. And so today, everyone can get glimpses of peace, can have experiences of peace. Of course, there is no peace like the peace of Shabbat. That's why the greeting on Shabbat is Shabbat Shalom. There's something essential about Shabbat that can contain and uh, give over the idea of 
of peace. But ultimately, we know that we don't live in, 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 in complete peace right now. But we do have the, the tradition, the hope, and the vision that when God truly rules in the world and the whole world accepts and acknowledges the oneness of God, then Hashem yimloch li'olam vo'ed, and we will have true and everlasting peace.